Uh, my name is Vaibhav Manik. I'm a partner at KNAV. KNAV is a global consulting, accounting, and a tax firm. We are currently in six countries. Over the last 23 years, when we started up, uh, we started with US and India, and then we expanded to the Netherlands, the UK, Canada, and Singapore. KNAV has four large business verticals. Audit is the first one, tax, valuations, and consulting. Uh, when we talk about audits, we are really talking about cross-border audits, international audits. And KNEV has been a pioneer in using AI and technology in audits. We, uh, you know, over the years realized that technology is a key differentiator when we are performing global audits. So that's where we focus a lot. In tax, we are renowned for our international tax services, global transfer pricing services, US tax as a product, in each of the six countries that we are in, of course, the local taxes are important. But the focus, again, has been on international tax planning, helping multinational organizations to grow across the world and take care of tax planning avenues, transfer pricing avenues. And is there a way to plan for lowering the effective tax rate, given the current regime of BEPS, uh, you know, all the pillars that OECD keeps coming out with. So we as a firm, we work as a cohesive unit across the six countries and put the best that we can. Whenever we have clients across other countries, we would look, look at network like IR Global, uh, where we would look at our colleagues across the other offices and try and give a single window solution. So that's about tax. Then we have valuations. We have partners who specialize in very technical valuations on the business side, on real estate side, on transactions. And then we have consulting, which is a practice that I lead. We call it KNV Transactions, where we help deal making. We help businesses buy businesses and sell businesses. So both on the buy and sell side, also on the fundraising side and corporate finance side, we are very strong. So we help startups think about their capital raising journeys. We help them think about growth, write their business plans, prepare information memorandums, and then help the founders in their journey for the next level of value creation and then value unlocking. So that's, in a nutshell, everything we do in KNAV. So KNAV became a member of IR Global two years back in 2020, right at the peak of the pandemic. Uh, it's been an extremely positive experience uh, so far. Last couple of years, we have been able to network very well. We have been physically participating in a lot of events and conferences across the globe. For example, our U.S. members, uh, you know, participate in the U.S. conferences. Uh, this time in Zurich, we have five partners. Two of us are from India, two from the U.S., one from Singapore. And being part of the IR Global Network, you know, we are every day, every other, uh, you know, interaction is with like-minded professionals. We love the, the energy in the room. Um, we love the way people are thinking with agility. It's always about solutions. Can we bring out, you know, the right set of uh, solutions and frameworks for our clients so that they succeed in what they do? So IR Global, I would say the members are pretty strong. Uh, they are very high, on, high on knowledge, fairly intellectual, and we love to have those conversations. Again, as with every network, it's all about doing the right networking. So our experience in Iron Global has been very positive. We have had good you know, uh, chances of throwing out some work. In return, we have been getting some good inquiries. And uh, whilst it's early days, we believe that the foundation of networking is all about going out, making those connections, also understanding the culture of all the members. And I think IR Global does a great job of connecting everybody together. I think using technology, the apps that you guys have, and the way IR is different is, you know, you are able to connect very swiftly. The, the central organization is very strong and that helps to foster relationships. It's been very interesting in IR Global, the level of referrals, the level of work. When we started up immediately, we uh, had a US firm reaching out to us for valuations and our valuation team was able to give them a perspective of how to think about their client's valuation and we actually turned into a good engagement. And then we have been in constant touch with that firm. We have thrown out work to them uh, on transactions, on diligences. More recently, about a few months back, uh, we got another engagement on the tax side. Again, a very large US member threw out a tax opportunity for uh, uh, inheritance and estate planning for a global resident, a global citizen who had assets and you know inheritances in India. And 
the client was a US resident for tax purposes. So there were some interesting tricky aspects of how do you plan and our Indian partners were able to give up that solution. So again, it worked beautifully because we collaborated with a couple of offices, Washington, New York and Mumbai. And we also involved another law firm. So that was again a positive experience working with a member. We have constantly been you know, sending out deals. Some of our clients are looking at buy side opportunities to buy businesses in logistics, in technology, and we've started receiving good inquiries and good responses back. And I think we think while these are early days, uh, the actual commerce will emerge as we develop more and more relationships with partners across the offices. During conference, um, just it's, whilst it's just the first day yet, I think the synergy that we saw in the pre-conference was very, very interesting. I think people have been now wanting out to go, to explore uh, in person. We are done with the Zoom and the Teams all the time. So one, you know, when we meet the partners of various firms and various members, you get to see firsthand what are their issues, what is the world telling them, what are the trends and market forces that they are seeing, which industries are doing well. From a deal-making perspective, it matters a lot to us to understand that technology, pharma and healthcare, uh, consumer products and media entertainment and of course banking and financial services. These five segments are doing extremely well in most parts of the world that we have, and Zurich is no exception. Uh, all the initial interactions we had with some of the firms, this thought got validated. Um, hopefully, as we are behind, or as we go behind the pandemic, we will see a lot more transactions happening. So we are hoping that this Dealmakers Conference in Zurich will get us closer to some of the actual transactions, some of the actual deals. Also, I think we are here to make good connections. Um, whilst we may have spoken to people on phones and on emails, when you meet in person, you get a much better perspective. So that's uh, interesting. And finally, I guess, like any conference, uh, you know, it's about making those, you know, those relevant connections, getting people to uh, understand the philosophy of the firm, the culture of the clients. And I think I'm sure we will go a long way as we conclude this to cement those relationships. So that's our takeaway from the Zurich conference.